All right, guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about setting up a home studio for you to photograph small objects using awesome lighting and things that look really good. So let's get started. The first thing you need is a great big window. The bigger the window, the better your home studio lighting is going to look. If you don't have a big window, that's okay. This isn't necessarily a huge window, but it is a pretty good size window and it's going to work awesome. Ideally, this window will be facing north because the north facing window, as we talked about last week, will never have direct sunlight coming through it. And that's a good thing. You could use other windows. They could be facing east or west because those will not have direct sunlight coming through them most of the time. Um, but a south facing window will have direct sunlight coming through it a lot of the time. And that's bad. You don't want that. It, it just doesn't look very good. All right, the next thing you're going to need is a cool foreground, meaning something to put whatever you're photographing on. In this case, I'm going to try this blue ottoman. I don't know if it's going to be good or not, but it'll work. And you want to be able to put whatever your object is really close to the window. So you can see I've got this thing right up against my window here. And the closer it is, the nicer it's going to look. And you absolutely can change this out. You can try the ottoman for one shot. And maybe that didn't work, so you switch and you try a pillow. And maybe that doesn't work, so you switch and try it like an old rusty cookie sheet. Try anything you want, lots of different things. It could just be colored paper. It could be uh, any number of things you have laying around your house. Try those for your foreground. And you can also try them as your background. So here I'm using the pillow as my foreground, and I took that old cookie sheet and I just propped it up, and I just put a plant or something behind it to hold it. And now I've got a foreground and a background, and I can start photographing things here in my studio. Okay, so here I am in Lightroom, uh, the camera app, and I've got my first shot set up that I want to take here um, of this plant with my blue pillow as the foreground and the pan as the background. And a couple things you need to be aware of. One is I need to have my camera kind of far away because my background's pretty small. That pan's, that cookie sheet's not very big. You can see if I get this too close, the plant goes off the edges of the background, and I don't like that. That doesn't work for me. So I'm going to back up. And just know that I'm gonna do a bunch of cropping when I actually take the photo. I'm not gonna zoom in by doing the pinch to zoom here in Lightroom. I'd rather shoot farther away like this and then have the ability to crop in, um, in Lightroom when I'm uh, actually editing the photo. The next thing to notice is that I actually have the um, plant a little bit farther away from the cookie sheet. The farther away you can get it, the easier it's going to be to get the cookie sheet in the background to be a little bit blurry. So the more distance you have from the plant, to the cookie sheet, the more blurry you're going to be able to get the cookie sheet. The problem with that, of course, is that the more distance you have from the cookie sheet, the bigger the plant gets in relation to the cookie sheet. Ideally, I'd have it all the way out here, but I'm just not going to be able to do that. That's not going to work. Now, if I do put the plant right up against the cookie sheet, like maybe I don't mind that the cookie sheet's not going to be in focus, and I don't know if that's going to stay. You can see I can actually get in quite a bit closer here on this shot because the plant and the cookie sheet are closer together but I'd rather have it a little bit farther away, even, in, even though in doing so, I know I have to shoot farther away, but again, I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna make sure I keep the plant all the way on the, um, the background so that none of it is sticking off the edges of the background, and I'll go ahead and take that photo, and that looks pretty good. Let's try a different one. All right, so here I switched things around. I switched the cookie sheet to be my bottom, and I took the pillow and made it the background. And I'm using my son's stuffed animal here. Um, but I want you to just notice a couple of things. One, the higher up I get the camera, the less on the background the teddy bear goes, right? Like see how he's, now he's not on the background at all. And then the lower I get the camera, the more on the background he goes. So pay attention to your camera position and how it affects the relationship between your subject and the background. And then I don't love this because the teddy bear is brown and the cookie sheet is brown. And I feel like they just kind of blend together. It doesn't, the teddy bear doesn't really stand out. And then that pillow in the background is really busy and kind of hard to tell, see what's going on back there. So let's try something a little bit different. All right, so I liked the looks of this a lot better. I got rid of the pillow here and I just have the bear sitting right on this blue ottoman. I feel like the brown and the blue look really good together. And then I replaced the background with just a big silver tub that we have laying around our house. And I thought that looked kind of cool. And the only thing I want to do is I really want to get this camera down low. So I'm actually off the edge of the ottoman here so I can get it down lower. So in order to make this look better, I'm going to move the bear closer to the camera. And then I'm going to move this closer to the bear. And now I can really get down low. I need to back up to get that perspective a little better. 
maybe move this in even a little bit closer because I don't care so much about getting that background blurry. And I like the looks of that. Actually, what I want to do is maybe let's try flipping that upside down. That looks, oh, I like that better. I like that a lot better. That's a good looking background. And I'm going to move this dude back about right there. And there you go. Now I can work with that pretty easily. In fact, I can get, actually, look at me changing things up here on the fly. And this is what you got to do. I like that right there. Let's focus on the bear. Take that shot. And let's go see how these look.